Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 on Goldcrest Valley. I'm in the middle of a contracting job in field number 18. This is a very small field but when you're using a very small harvester it also takes quite a while. Uh, I've been going for about, what's it been, 8 minutes or so? Nothing too long. Uh, listening to simulator radio. Had to turn this off now though. All the copyright reasons and stuff which is a bit unfortunate but yeah that's just the way it is. The radio in FS17 is certainly a very nice addition. But yeah, just going to finish off here and then we'll get on to the main job of today. We do need to buy a new seed drill. We always have to buy something. Uh, <laughs> until we get really established, buying something is going to be a bit of a daily occurrence, which is a bit of a shame, as we do need as much money as possible. Um, but it's always nice to have new equipment, very nice. So uh, I suppose it's not all bad. Now, before I forget, I must just remember to say about my server. Basically, what's happening is I've had to transfer it over to the Goldcrest Valley map, which is this one. And because I've had to do that, it means that some people are a bit wary about the server itself. Like, it's not exactly clear if it's my server or just one with the same name. Well, it is my server. It's, called, it's still called Official Daggerwind YouTube. The same password of Tractor, it's just the map is different. And the reason behind all of this, really, is just to try and see why the server is crashing so much. And it doesn't seem to be crashing anymore. So it was either a problem with the save or the map Sosnovka. Something went wrong somewhere. It's possible that if I started a new save game on Sosnovka, it would be fine. But at the moment, just trying out. A different map just to see if it works any better which so far so good so uh, yeah that is good news so yeah I'm gonna just finish off here off screen and I'll see you in a second and maybe it'll be morning by the time we are finished I've missed a few bits too but there's only a quarter of the field left so it's not a big job seems like the time slows down. Even if you've got the time at times 120 before you start a mission, it looks like it puts it to maybe five times or maybe even real time. Because it should be light by now, it's been, well, it's been about 15 minutes, so it's, yeah, definitely at 120. It'd be morning by now. So that should do, yep. Yeah. And that is not bad money. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Yes, it's still 21.35. That's that's pretty much what it was when I started. So we do have to just have a bit of a power nap until the morning. And in the morning, yeah, we're going to head over to the store, which isn't too far from here. Uh, we'll probably use... What should we use? Let's just tab across. We've got the fence tractor is here ready to go. In fact, I might as well start it off. I don't know if the worker fees is higher if you've got it at 120. We shall see. I wouldn't have thought it would be, but yeah, this is going to be uh, quite a good test. Yeah, just five pounds. It doesn't make any difference then. So that's one tractor out of the way. We could use either of these two. Why have, why have I left that like that? That is such a stupid idea. Uh, I think we'll put that down. We might as well. Going to need the engine for the hydraulics. And we'll boom in as well. So getting used to my controls, we'll close that up and head back. Now, as you can see here, we've got a bit of a mess. So we're going to use the pickup, which is already here, to tidy up. We'll be able to put whatever we need to in the back of there, hopefully. Then we'll just take it over to the sell point and see how much money we can get from it. It won't be much, but it's all extra. So yeah, we'll head back with the money too. Then we'll get most likely the case tractor. I can't remember where I've put it. It can't be far away, but yeah, I need to get the case tractor. I think it's the case Puma. So yeah, and I, it would be nice to have a case Optum. I actually prefer the Optum to the Puma, but it's just what we can afford. Obviously, we can't buy another tractor now. That is just totally out of the question. But maybe in my next Let's Play, which should be starting either at this, it should be this weekend or next week. 
I don't know exactly, but hopefully not too much longer. It is a mod map, I'm not going to reveal any details yet, um, but yes, I am seriously looking forward to it. It should be amazing. And that'll be my very first mod map let's play of FS17. And I actually said 17 instead of 15 by accident. Helper D is blocked by an object. What object could that be? It could only be a tree, I assume. <laughs> there is a tree in the way. The workers obviously aren't intelligent enough to uh, drive around a tree. They just drive up to it and say, help me, I'm blocked. So we'll have to go and sort that out as a bit of a priority. I can go here. Oh, yep, the lights don't automatically turn off. Okay then, fence, where are you? Where have you gone? Oh wait, you've driven into a shed. You've driven into the barn up there. That's that's not a very good job. Yes, congratulations. Top work. I'm actually surprised it's taken such a big turning circle. How did it get so far out? So where is the case tractor? Here it is, it's right at the farm. And that is our lovely new Joskin trailer. Can't wait to use it. Alongside our Massey Ferguson Combine. I'll traverse into here. Should be okay. And we'll head over to the store to buy our sea drill. Now we don't have an endless supply of money, so we do have to be very careful. We could get another cedar like that. That wouldn't be a bad idea, it's just, it's a bit small. And I'm assuming the worker fees are going to be the same, because it's still an hourly rate. So, yeah, really, the bigger the seed drill, the better. That's what we want to be looking at here. I think times five for the, the time speed is okay. Real time is a little bit too slow, because not an awful lot grows. Um, but anything faster, also a bit ridiculous. And what a lovely day it is as well. If it was raining, I think we'd probably skip time. But yeah, times five it is. As I've explained in a few videos before, just because we're starting another Let's Play, it doesn't mean we're finishing this one. We're definitely finishing this Let's Play at episode 40 or episode 50, most likely 50. Um, that's because I always do two side by side. And unless... Oops, I just put it in front of the car. Unless two amazing mod maps are released like together in the next week or so, there is absolutely no reason at all why this series should stop. Because I'm enjoying it, and it's actually going well. I think without the million pound boost from the Gold Nuggets, it would have been quite tough, therefore making the series quite boring. So I'm pleased I did it, although you could technically technically say it's a cheat but in my I in my eyes here I don't think it is because it's part of the game the game wants you to do it so we're just having fun the million pounds is a fun bonus right here we are after that very fun journey let's buy the cedar where is it where did I there they are yes where did I put it I was gonna say yeah but of course it wasn't me I didn't put them there let's buy one which one should we go for? this is the obvious one 52,000 that isn't a bad price really in fact, is that cheaper than in FS15? I think it might be. It seems cheaper. Very reasonable. The thing is with that one, it's not... Oh, it is. It, it does fertilise as well. That's very good. Okay, it doesn't fertilise as well. Does it? It doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. I need to get it right. So, yes, that isn't the best one ever, but it's certainly going to be much faster seeding with it. It means we'll have to use a weeder as well and obviously a sprayer or fertilizer spreader. A weeder is something else we do need to get. We could technically put one on the front of this tractor, but I think it might look a bit ridiculous if we take them both back together. How much are weeders anyway? Because I think it acts like free fertilizer because it's getting rid of the weeds. That one's okay. It, it's gonna put us under 100,000 pounds though. I will be careful. We won't get it just yet, but very soon. So, let's just 
head back. Mind him. And off we go. So, field number 24, I think it is. Yep, field number 24 needs to be planted. This, as far as I'm aware, is a direct drill. So we're going to get some wheat into there, or, or barley, it could be barley. In fact, it could be anything, it's just... Yeah, I think wheat or barley would be the sensible thing to direct drill. I think it was canola before this. Um, so, yeah. I think usually, after canola, you would cultivate and then plant wheat or barley. Um, you'd, I think you'd usually do the canola straight as a direct drill after wheat. But we're going to do it anyway because we can't be wasting too much time doing cultivation although that is a very poor excuse let's just get it started it's a very small field so uh, in fact it will need to be ploughed at some point probably after this one get it going and hopefully this one doesn't hit a collision like a tree Okay. There's me thinking that the seeder gets its own seed. But we're away from those times. We're going to have to go and fill it up. Duh. Oh dear. Uh, I suppose we could take some pallets over to it. But it's probably just easier to head up here. It's amazing. I can't believe it. FS17 has only been out for, what, a month? Yeah, about a month. And already I have pretty much forgotten how some of the things in 15 work like do you have to fill the seed drill up for a worker to plant I can't remember there probably is an option for it actually in 17 you probably can turn it off it's just I don't want to let's consume that one any more? yeah there is, we've bought quite a few so we should be okay Not sure what's happening there. Not an awful lot by the look of it. Has it glitched? There we go. That's better. Yeah, this is a big cedar. So, yeah, it's taking all these. Oh, no. We're going to have to buy quite a few. I think that'll probably do because we might need to put some more in the other drill. We don't want to put it all in here. Can we see in the top? We can. Dressed seed. Right. Field 24, here we come. And then we're going to leave this alone. We'll probably just watch it for a second. Um, and then it's tidy up time. We'll take a stump grinder up there too. Probably put it on the new holding or something. I'm not totally obsessed with the stump grinder. It's just... I think, yeah. We should probably tidy up the mess we've made. It's a bit of a mess. I've left a few uh, felled trees as well, the ones I couldn't pick up. So we'll cut those up by hand, um, and yeah, they can be firewood. So this is work F, and that's looking good. So that is our brand new cedar with our case Puma. Okay, so we now have two different tractors working in different fields with two different seed drills. So that's going to be good. We're going to have some more crops again. Now I'm just going to hitch the New Holland onto the stump grinder. The stump grinder seems much larger than it did in 15. Probably just me. Probably more scale though now. And I think, yeah, regarding the older Great Plains seed drill, I think we're going to keep it for the time being. I'm totally aware of the maintenance fee. It could be bad. It's just here. The 3P106NT. What a model number. 64 days old, £70 per day. Still viable to keep, £70. Uh, I think when they go into the red, that's when they suggest that you remove them from your fleet because it wouldn't be worth keeping them. Yes, but at the moment, they are fine. Why is the Ursus nothing? Uh, what is the T127? Oh, it's leased, I think. Yes, I think it's leased. Um, so, that's fine. It doesn't bother us. Okay, 
up to the top field then, just above field number five. Somebody said, do you have a permit to be uh, logging in this in this woodland? And uh, the answer to that is yes, of course we do. Yes, we wouldn't just go and turn up in someone's forest and cut up trees down and benefit from it. We wouldn't steal their logs, would we? Or would we? No. Yes, we do have permission to be up there. Let's just say for role-playing purposes, we're allowed to be in the forest. <laughs> Otherwise, it would not be good. Why has my Satex side panel just gone off? The front loader has stopped working. Maybe it's because I have... There we go, that's better. The Satex side panel lives once again. Some people have had trouble with theirs, and I've heard stories of having different people having replacements. Like, three different replacements and every single one breaking. But mine has been, I have to say, perfect. <laughs> There has nothing ever gone wrong with it, and I'm not just saying that, I use it in every video excluding the last two months of when I was doing the Farming Simulator 15 series when I wasn't using it. So I would say I've used it for 9 or 10 months in total, and it's still going fine. I did notice when I had a few issues in 15 before I stopped using it though, that most of the problems that there were was actually with the configuring of the key bindings rather than the panel itself. So if you reset everything, it usually fixes it. So um, I don't know if it was a bad batch or something that this, whoever this person was, I kind of know who they were. Um, and I do know of another person, the admin who I've just got on the team. He has, uh, I believe, had other issues with them as well. But yeah, I think it's, well, I hate to say it, but I think it's probably down to the batch. So uh, if you're unlucky enough to get three from the same batch, then that is probably bad luck. But I don't know. I don't know if it is from the batch or not. I don't know. I don't work for Satek. Only they can say. But I'm actually... I've been happy with it. Very happy. It's a great addition to Farming Simulator. Anyway, let's start stump grinding. Let's go for this one first. Oh, we have a disc. Let's play, play Frisbee. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just fall to the ground. Uh, what? Hang on. I am floating. Why am I floating? I'm still floating. I am still floating. That's strange. I'm going to have to go and... Ah. That would explain it. That would definitely explain it. I turn that on to do a screenshot. Obviously, I didn't drop myself back to the ground again. So, uh, that's why that was messed up. Go away, chainsaw. You can actually sell these discs for money. There was a good disc. There it is. It's our frisbee. There's another one here. Not going to do too much messing about. It's just I wanted to give this a go. I thought about it yesterday. I thought, why didn't, in my video, why didn't I at least try and use it as a frisbee? Let's just see. Oh, okay. That's as good as you can throw it. That's right-clicking it. It's a magic piece of wood. It can stand up in all different ways. Look at that. Certainly magical. Good playtime over. Let's start stump grinding. Yeah, that tree is a bit in the way. Oh, what is going on here? Every tree seems to be magical. I try this one. That's weird. That is weird. Nothing grinds. I have found one which does work. I'm guessing there is an issue with one over there. Not sure why. What about this one? Yeah, these work. Maybe I just felled them badly or something. And it thinks the tree is gone, but it's actually still there. Right, that's not so easy. There we go, that's working. Some of them are tricky because of the gradient. It's harder to get to them. I wasn't going to do an awful lot of stump grinding, just a few bits. One thing's for sure, it's definitely worth having a big seed drill. It really does benefit the farm. 
Right, let's just do this one as well. There we go. And there's two over here. And then once these two or three are done, we'll start to clear up the mess we made before and throw however much we can do into the pickup. We'll probably only do one load. But at least we will have made it a bit tidier. What's all this? It's invincible. It actually is invincible. Okay. So that stump clearly doesn't want to be ground away. Let's try this one. This isn't really going too well. Yep, again. Can't quite get onto it. So, um, I think we can probably quite safely say that this hasn't really gone that well. Although this one's working. There we go, finally. Maybe I'm using the tool wrong, but I don't know. We wouldn't have thought there'd be too much to it. Well, we'll put it over here. We'll probably do a bit later. There we go. And we'll bring the pickup round. I love the way that just by changing the colour, it's aged this vehicle so much. It's probably like five or ten years has been put onto it just from when it was white. And that's supposed to be a respray. So the reason why we're doing a little bit more forestry today is because, once again, I've had quite a lot of requests and I'm actually amazed, usually, I don't get many requests for forestry, but yeah, after the day, after the video I did the other day, I have had quite a few. It's just a bit of kindling, a bigger bit up here. Apparently, taking the end off can make it more expensive. So yeah, that sounds good. I think I uh, actually missed an entire tree here. Just this is going to fill it up. Okay, wow, this <laughs> unbelievable. Maybe this is one I couldn't pick up for some strange reason. Because there was one, I couldn't pick one of them up. It was very strange. This is the only way of doing it. If that happens, just cut it up into manageable sections and throw it into the back of the pickup. Or, get the tractor's trailer, and you can do it that way as well. Which is probably better, as you can carry more and longer pieces. That's too heavy. We'll just cut it in half. Is that any good? No. Is that any good? No. Okay, this is big. This is a big log. Wow, it takes forever to cut through. Oh, look at the size of this log. Should be some money in it, although it seems to go on the size, or the length I should say, rather than, you know, the diameter of it. You get paid for a longer log than a shorter log. That's still too heavy. Although, I say that in a strange way. I think if that was real life, that would be a heavy log. It's huge. Something's clearly glitched on it, you can see. It's got a strange marking. And this is actually going to weigh that pickup down completely. So much so, we can't get anything else in it. Maybe one more. We can get this one in as well. And yeah, we'll take it to the usual place. We can use the trains. I probably should have used the trains before when I had the uh, dolly and the forestry trailer. But I forgot, so <laughs> that didn't really work. We'll take the frisbee too, or half a frisbee, if it will stay in. Yep. And. The magical frisbee can come with. Always up for selling a magical frisbee. We can go in the back. 
yeah, it's weird. It, it can balance in the weirdest ways. There. No! We're Superman and we can pull anything. Okay, that, that is not going well. That is not going well at all. Bear with me, I'll just sort this out. Okay, so we're going to have to be very slow and very steady. That's for sure. Oh, and the extra twigs and branches and stuff which come with, that's just extra money. Now tomorrow, in the next episode, we're going to be working on some cows. That's why I've left quite a bit of money set aside, because we're obviously going to need quite a bit of money for the cows. So, yes, tomorrow is the cow working day. I know a lot of people have wanted me to do this for a very long time. And to be honest, it is due, because we've had pigs for a while, we've also had some sheep for a while, but I haven't really touched on the cows. So that's very important. I think it will take most of the episode, as we have to buy them, we have to pick them up, we then have to deliver them, then feed them with their feed, their water, everything they could possibly want except for sugar beets. Does it require sugar beet? I think they do. Whoa, that is colourful. I think they do, let me just find it. Yeah, oh look at this. Neglect. Okay, they're going to need to be worked on too. So it's going to be a very big animal working day tomorrow. The only reason I've sort of been leaving it off for a while is because about a week ago I went through a phase of doing the, the animals nearly every day, including in the multiplayer video. So I think it would have got a bit boring if I'd done it again, like in the last two episodes. Right on the train line. Here we are. This is almost not worth it. That log on top has fallen out so many times. I've tried it two different ways and both ways it just falls out every time. So the sooner we sell it, the better. And this will probably be the last time we sell wood in the pickup on this series. Although that makes me feel a bit better. The money from that was okay. I think if you did that in real life, you took that amount of wood and you got that money, you'd be quite pleased. Uh, so, right, uh, what we need to do is head back to the farm. And, yeah, we'll leave the New Holland with the stump grinder in the woods because I think we are going to need it again. Not sure why some of the stumps don't grind. Very strange. But, yeah, it will be needed. So, we'll keep it there for another video. Or I might just finish it off off screen, we'll see. Let's just have a take. And we'll park up at the farm. And, actually, yeah, we should bring the case tractor back too. So this is our field of soybeans, field 14. Field 15 is also soybeans, and I think that work is finished, or just finishing. Strange, sort of stopped halfway through. Well, hey, can we put this down here? Because I'm sure that is like an underground garage kind of a thing. Not sure. <laughs> I'll probably forget where I've put it. But, yeah, it's there. We should know. The tyre marks are a giveaway. They'll likely have disappeared before the next episode. Okay, so the fence tractor... Yeah, I think it has finished actually. It's just like the uh, the final little bit, which you can't really see. So, we'll keep it attached and just put it under the shelter. As I'm sure there'll be some more fields to do very soon. And also, my shelter isn't having enough use, so we should put more stuff in here. We'll get it tucked right up against the side so we can get two things in. That's good. And finally, the case tractor, which is just here. Now, that is going to need fertiliser, as that is quite clearly unfertilised. We should use a weeder. We might get one tomorrow and do it, but we'll see. We might be far too... Uh, preoccupied with the cows. And here we are back at the farm. I'll just reverse this into the left hand side shelter and then we'll be able to put the case next to the fence. And the 
assuming there's going to be space, even though this tractor's got very wide tyres, which we did pay extra for. Yeah, it should be fine. Not as close as it first looked. Okay, so that is another episode complete. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will return again tomorrow for the cows. We do need to do the cows. I don't know how many we're going to buy. They're quite expensive. Uh, but yeah, hopefully a full trailer load at least. So until then, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.